Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn about the reached end of file while parsing error. The three topics we're going to cover are what does this error mean? How can we avoid this error? And tips to fix this error if we encounter it. So let's take a look at some code. We can see for every opening curly bracket, we need a matching closing curly bracket. So, you know, this one matches with this one, and then this one matches with this one. If we have a missing closing curly bracket, we're going to get a reached end of file while parsing error because it's looking for that missing closing curly bracket. The best way to avoid this problem is to make sure you're following good indenting conventions. So every time you open a curly bracket, you want to indent one more. So here we indent one more. And every time we close a curly bracket, we want to indent one less. And it's much easier to find and fix these problems if we're following good indenting patterns. Now this here, I'm using the Almond style of indentation. So I have the declaration, then I have the opening curly bracket. Some of you may prefer to use the KNR style of indentation, where we have the opening curly bracket at the end of the line where the declaration is. Tell me in the comments, do you prefer the Ullman style or the KNR style? Now, let's say you run into this problem. How can we solve it? One way to solve it is to match up all the curly brackets. That way you can see if you're missing one. You can either do this visually by looking at your code, or you can even print it out and draw arrows. That way, if an opening one is not matched with a closing one, you can figure out the problem. I'm going to go to my JGRASP IDE to show you another technique. So this is the same code we have here. Now, when you are doing this, it's good to have line numbers. And I'll show you why a little bit later. So this is JGRASP. I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to say Line Numbers. Now, I want to make sure each opening matches with the closing. So I'm going to move my cursor over the opening one, and then it matches it with the closing one. So then same thing here. We see those match up like we expect, and we see that matches up like we expect. Now, let's get rid of this one. So now we're missing one, and if we built this, we'd get a reached end of file while parsing because we're missing a closing curly bracket. So first of all, I place my cursor over here, and you see it doesn't even match with the closing one because we're missing one. So this one here... I see it matches with it, but it's not the one I expect. I would expect the one that it matches with to be here and be at the same level of indentation. So I can, you know, pick out the problem right here and I can fix it. What if we have more code than can fit on the screen at the same time? So I'm just going to put some empty spaces here and then I'm going to go back up to the top. Now let's see, I want to see which one this on line 2 matches with, but it's off the screen. So I do this and you can see it shows the closing one. But since I have line numbers, I can see the closing one is on line 19. And if I didn't have the line numbers, I'd see it matched with the closing one, but I wouldn't know where it was. So that's what causes this error, how we can prevent it, and how we can fix it. If you found this video helpful, please like it and leave me a comment. To see all the Java tutorials in this curriculum, click on the playlist in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. And make sure to hit subscribe so you can see all the latest content on this channel.